Hello, this is Klopplop321. This is kind of an extension of the last tutorial 026, and this is tutorial 027. And this tutorial is going to be going over um, uh, form login with hashing. So, first of all, we're going to make a form. That's kind of obvious. So, I'm going to go and echo a form. And I'm going to go and say the method is um, I'm gonna say post and I'm going to say the action is to this um, so I'm gonna say question mark there and so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in an input so I'm gonna set the type is uh, is a text and I'm going to say the name is the user and I'm going to close that. I'm going to say, um, kind of going to put here username. And I'm going to go back and say password. And do the same thing pretty much. And type, put for the type, I'm going to put in password. And for the name, I'm going to put in pass. And I'm going to close it with that. And, well, first we also need to have a uh, submit button so I'm going to say input uh, type equals submit and I'm going to call the value or what it says on the button uh, login and so now I'm going to close that and save now back to Chrome here I'm going to go and uh, refresh this so now it we have this username and password and login if I do this, nothing happens because I haven't put anything in. So, let's try to go ahead and put in, so let's say login, um, or rather let's say user equals MD5, no, not MD5. Well, let's do some uh, extra th something extra here and put in an echo of um, SHA-1 of what we want. So I'm going to put in um, generic and I'm going to save that and I'm going to come back to Chrome and refresh continue and I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to come back to my editor and say the uh, the password is this uh, this hash. I'm going to say the user is um, I'm going to say Kalapbot321 which is my username and I'm going to save it and of course this is not my real password of course I would never do that um, especially in a public tutorial so let's uh, go ahead and um, well we don't need this anymore so let's try and say if dollar sign underscore requests of the user um, equals my user and um, the request of the password um, is the same then I'm going to say echo um, you, lo you logged in correctly um, else I'm going to say echo well first I'm going to do an if statement to even see if there is a is a user or rather a uh, sub like I like to do which is an, a hidden input so I'm going to say input type equals hidden because I want to know if the form is submitted and also know if these are left blank so I'm going to say that the name is sub like I always like to do and because it's usually under the form and then I'm going to put in the value and that's going to be one so I'm going to close that there and I'm going to say if dollar sign underscore request uh, sub and I'm going to put in is set uh, and go ahead with that and say Echo, you failed at logging in. Um, 
and that's uh, I also need to put a semicolon there and I'm going to save it so let's check this out if I refresh well I'm just going to do this and I shouldn't see that anymore so if I put in tacos for you and I put in uh, generic obviously I just failed but if I put in club three two three two one and put in generic into the password, then it should work. Looks like so I got something wrong here. Generic. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I need to do the SHA one of the password. That was my mistake there. And I'm going to trim this first just in case that they put any spaces into it uh, beforehand on accident. And I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to put in clop uh 321 and put in um, generic for the password again. And there we have it. A pretty simple login and check form. Now, if you're going to be looking up um, the password in the database, for example, you're going to take their um, their username here, and also it'd probably be safe to trim it. Uh, but you would take the username and find the row that has the same matching user, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go and uh, find the uh, the uh, hash of their password um, in the row and then you're going to compare their input to that hash and um, so if I went and did like dollar sign row um, and then I did pass because that's the name of the column um, that's how it worked. I'll show you in future tutorials how to use uh, MySQL but um, that's all for this tutorial. Signing off, Club Three Two One. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my tutorials if you like them, and please rate my videos if you would please. And you can come check out my site at clubflop 321com slash tutorials for my tutorials section, um, or you could do clubflop 321com slash php hyphen tutorials, uh, whichever one you want to do, or you can just go to clubflop 321 and click on the link at the top or on the left. That's all for this tutorial, and if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to send me a message.